guys, How is, how's everybody doing? Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. I wanted to speak today about step six. And step one, actually what we covered was knowing what you want. Step two, which is the importance of knowing why you want what you want. Step three was about developing certain habits that you might have to create in order to get you to what you wanted which you said is the intention in step one. Step four, we talked about the mind, where I introduced you to the stick person, this little guy, where we talked about the conscious and subconscious mind, right? And it's the idea that everything that's held in the conscious mind automatically through repetition goes into the subconscious mind. And the subconscious mind is your supercomputer, the one that actually controls what actions you're gonna take, what vibration your body is gonna be in what feelings you create in your body, which dictates ultimately what your results will be like. Step five, we learned about the higher faculties, where I introduced you to the six higher faculties, one of which is imagination, where you can build in your imagination the life that you want, the way to get to the first step one, which is the goal of what you want, by eliminating the sensory factors, right? Like hear, smell, taste, touch, if you just go by what you can see, hear, smell, taste, and touch, you're not going to do very well because you're going to allow that to control your thinking. So the higher faculties is where we tap into our superpower. Today's lesson is about the self-image. Step number six. Self-image is the most important, probably the biggest paradigm any walking, living human being has because it's the way that we see ourselves. You see, the self-image, I'm not talking about the one that's the external one, the way that we present ourselves to the world, how we do our hair, how we shake hands, how we dress, how we, you know, carry ourselves. That's an external self-image that we show to the world. But the little old me inside, that's the internal self-image. That's the one that dictates whether you believe you can or believe you can't, whether you consider yourself to be very timid and shy and an introvert, or see yourself as an extrovert, being able to be out there and touch the world with your gifts and be able to share with everybody what it is that you want to do. Your self-image plays the biggest role in your life. It's how you see yourself. Not the physical self that you see in the mirror, but the way you actually see yourself inside when you're alone with yourself. That's the important one. That's the one that's in here. The self-image is locked into the subconscious mind. The self-image dictates the limitations that the computer is going to perform in order for it to move through the body into action and create the results that we're seeking. You want to create certain results in your life, you've got to start with what's happening inside your supercomputer that runs the show. One of the ways to do that is to identify what your self-image is like and literally script a new self-image for yourself by using your imagination. As a recall for lesson five or step five was using your, intu your uh, imagination and your willpower to stay focused on what you want to create. In your imagination, you can build a self-image of the person who has the things that you want from goal step one, who lives the life that you desire, who lives you're meant to live. And the self-image also dictates how you see yourself. Do you see yourself as that infinite, unbelievable being that is blessed to be in this little short span of life that we call a lifetime, right? I mean, if we're lucky and blessed, we're here for a hundred years. That is nothing on the grand scale of things. The planet is over 500 million years old and we're here for a hundred years. Just think about that. That's why when we make a big deal out of all things in our little world inside, it ain't a big thing at all. You need to stop letting those things get in the way of your thinking. You need to stop letting what's going on outside of you control you through your sensory factors and literally through repetition damaging your self-image. Think about it. A child that grows up in a house where they were ridiculed, beaten, insulted mentally, physically, whatever it is, grows up to be a very, very enclosed, shy, and timid type of adult. But a child that grows up with praise, you know, 
with happiness and joy and being honored for just having your child in the first place and making them feel the amazing being that they truly are. Like, just think of what a gift life is. If you really think about it, you're one of 8 billion lucky souls that have manifested into a physical body to live this journey of life. And if you're blessed to have a child, imagine what you can do for that child if you help your child grow the self-image. Now, let's say you're an adult already. Well, it's not too late, man. That is an old myth that you can't teach old dogs new tricks. I'm here to tell you, you can definitely teach old dogs new tricks because you can go to work through your imagination using your higher faculties to build a self-image of the boy or the girl, the man or the woman that lives in the results that you want in your life. That goes for your health, your relationships and your finances. At any point of your life you can build the most incredible, healthy, beautiful body. You can build incredible, deep, meaningful relationships with your clients, with yourself, with others, with loved ones, with relationships to your family, to everyone that matters in your world. And you can expand it over and over and over because we live in a very small world right now, considering we have the internet and video conferencing and Zoom. And I mean, wow, you know what I'm saying? And you can literally change your finances forever if you just start doing things in a certain way. Not doing certain things. People get wealthy, successful, abundant, and happy not because they're doing certain things. It's because they're doing things in a certain way. That certain way is using your higher faculties. That certain way is building the self-image of I can, I am, and I will. That's the beauty of self-image. So I hope this lesson helps you out. I hope that you go to work on your self-image right as soon as you hear this. Just script it out. I am so happy and grateful now that I am infinite, that I have all the potential in the world, that I know I am connected to infinite source and intelligence, that I've been given an intellect, I've been given an intuition, I have an imagination, I can reason so I can think for myself and decide what I want and don't want. I have the, the perception to be able to see things not as they are, but as they ought to be, as I want them to be. And this is the kind of self-image I have. I am successful, I am rich, I am healthy, I am blessed, I am loved. All the things that you want to introduce into your life, build it in your self-image. Lock it in. Keep repeating it over and over. Just keep putting it in, putting it in, putting it in, putting it in. Build the thoughts of how you want your life to be. Build it. Design it. Use your imagination. Imagination. Use it to build a beautiful new image. And regardless what is going on in here currently, just keep focusing on that amazing vision of yourself until it builds part of you here and until it builds a new self-image of the super, super guy or gal that you want to become. Because that is going to control what's going on in your body as in feeling and vibration. That's going to dictate the actions that you're going to take. And you're going to create some incredible, beautiful results. I hope you guys are starting to get a drift for how all this ties into each other. Like, right from knowing what you want, building habits together, knowing more importantly in step two why you want it, because that's an important one, because that gives the strength to the, to the subconscious because of the emotions, why you want it. And then you move on to understanding all this and how this works, using your higher faculties, building an amazing self-image, and I'll share some more stuff with you in step seven. I'll come back in a couple of days and I'll share that with you as well. And there's a few more steps. I'll take you right through the whole process. So I truly hope it helps. Let me know if it does. Let me know if you resonate with this message. Guys, please, the only thing I ask is, Hit those likes, hit those hearts if it means something to you, and please comment below this video. Just leave your comment. You know, yo, that didn't make any sense, or I loved it, or thank you, or you know what? I want to know a little bit more about how that works. My pleasure. I'd love to share that with you. So I thank you once again, and I look forward to seeing you soon.